There was a moment <laughs> where she was in the movie with Dom and Dom was over her shoulder and she was looking up at him. There was some real sexual tension. Oh, it totally on. was. It Sorry, I've had the Tokyo song in my head since I watched the movie last week. It's not, it's like six movies ago. Feel a great fucking soundtrack. I don't give a fuck what anybody Drift. says. Drift. Fast and Furious. It works really well with that this That was shit. a dope-ass soundtrack, man. That was a very dope-ass soundtrack. Welcome, everybody, to McGrew's <laughs> Review Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I'm Sammy Gonzalez, a.k.a. Uh, the Excellence, and joining me, the man of the hour. With the, with the matching, the right matching. Now, the Look it. You got the yellow over there. You got, got the, the yellow, yellow on the mic. mic. Black and yellow, black and yellow. I'm black, yellow <laughs> offset. Everything works. Why do you think I do the things I do? <laughs> I'm always intentional with the things I do. But we're joining us, we have. Yeah. Not joining us, but rather yeah. hosting us, we have. Yeah, Tommy McGrew. Oh my God, of McGrew's reviews. That's and right. Di- diagonally, he has. I gotta diagonally. go find the, diagonally to to me. Oh, um, no, I, I, well, I, I motioned. We're going from the host. Okay. Well, oh no, no, we're mo- I motioned here <laughs> oh. because I had to change your mic color because green screen doesn't key out well when we start bringing back in the lower thirds for you guys' graphics. You mm-hmm. guys are gonna have to pick a side. I can't have you guys be switching all the time. That's why I wanted to get a comfy chair, and sure. Amazon let me down. But on the black <laughs> mic, we have JJ. That is incorrect. <laughs> That's Marco. How's everyone doing? Today? Doing good. Wearing the Scott Tune, running the Scott Tune Network shirt back. I, I was watching uh, uh, all of our TikToks, all our old videos. We're caught up on our archive, and uh, you wore that shirt like twice. I wore like my red po- like uh, flannel like three times. You wore that every time. Tommy wore your hoodie, sweater, jacket things about every other time. It did. And lastly. On my side here, over here on the orange mic, without any disrespect, we have... It's TJ. It's What's TJ, up? everybody. <laughs> and today, Fast and Furious time, guys. Gonna be drifting, stealing DVD, no, <laughs> DVD not, players. No, we're not. So we're gonna be... Uh, I'm also weirded out in general that like Tommy is the... Because I was the weirdo in my last review. Yes. That it was like, oh, you only saw two, one through three? Of The Conjurings? N- no, one through three of... <laughs> oh, Fast and Furious? Fast and Furious. Oh, shit. Saga. I have not seen a Conjuring movie. This is the third movie that I'm going to review that's in the middle of a series. Fair uh, enough. And it's becoming a trademark at this point. Well, there's only one movie <laughs> left that it's, that's going to be it. That's true. But, it's unfortunate. yeah, TJ hasn't really seen it. Sam hasn't really seen no. it. Like, I Which thought is... this was right up Sam's alley for Me too. sure. Wait, no, actually, no, I... I... I think I posted it. Yeah, yeah, I, no, TJ seen. Yeah, I saw like yeah. I, the problem is, I, but like, he's patchy on it. He's he not. Is. He's like yeah. every other movie. Oh, no. Without further ado, because there's not much to talk about. It ain't much. Unless you want to talk about family, which we will. Let's watch the trailer for 2021's F9. The world has a way of changing. <sighs> That's the part they should have left out of this trailer. Don't die! They should have left everything out of this trailer. The bas- <laughs> Why are they making trailers for this anymore? Like, I feel like this movie would make, it's going to make money, but even more when it's, they will show like the most minute glimpse of something. You've built up enough of a fan base to where you don't have to do trailers like this. So, yeah, like we were saying with this trailer. It's so it fast. It doesn't need to exist. It's so furious, Tommy. Always. Every trailer is. Every trailer says But they, I like, is. I was like, okay, granted, there is enough action in this movie to where. They played everything except no. the jungle fight scenes, that, which is the dumbest, it's the worst fight scene of the entire movie. Yeah, I was like, y'all legit showed <laughs> every, <laughs> every set piece. Oh, look at, no, every set bro, piece. Look at, they showed fucking Paul Walker coming up in the And that's just a, like shit. a surprise at the end of the movie. Right, I was <laughs> like, is that, are they alluding to Paul Walker's character? Because I don't know the names of these fucking people. Brian. He's had a blue car it, since the first movie. I figured so you it out. you have two Bryans, you have his son, and you have All right, so Paul that, Walker. Okay, yeah. So this movie starts out. Look at the kid. Is that Paul Walker's that kid? That is Vin Diesel's kid. Vin Diesel's kid. From, <laughs> yeah. So who's the mom? Died. She's in, dead. Yeah. Yeah. She was, was she in the movies? She was yeah. a spy in Five, with The Rock. And then she was with Vin Diesel yeah. because they he, thought he thought yeah. Letty was dead. Do we cannot explain this? No, no. I can, I, can, I, can, I can explain it in three sentences. So okay. Vin Diesel's character really likes Eddie or the Michelle Rodriguez. Yes. Letty, yeah. Yeah. So she, she's dead. Right, and then she meets this other super spy, cool girl, and she also lost someone. So through their own remorse, they get together, uh-huh. and then she gets shot and thrown out of a helicopter. Not no, no, before, no, no, no. not before. <laughs> Wait, not before. Letty comes back from the dead. She comes back from the dead. Right, but then she had a With kid, amnesia. and then got shot in the head. 
So that's two movies of things happening. That was like two movies ago, okay. yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Jimmy here, and then now Michelle Rodriguez is not dead, so now they're together taking she, care of. She came, she didn't die. That happens in this, obviously. Right. But she came back with amnesia, so she didn't remember who she It's a soap opera, Oh, bro. shit. Yeah, so <laughs> you welcome, everybody. I'm so happy to have you guys here, because we don't care about this movie, but anytime we don't care about movies- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speak for yourself. We didn't care about In the Heights, and we went for an hour and 25 minutes. I know I had rage with that shit. Right. I have general neutralness. I have general confusion. <laughs> with this? Exactly. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Because, yeah. like- these guys, so I'm just going to go over the people I just didn't recognize. These are Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Drifters. I recognize Bow Wow. I recognize Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't re- I didn't recognize Bow Wow. <laughs> he's gotten older. He's gotten a little older. Yeah, he's, lost, and, but he's he lost. But his... he, he was waiting for the call, bro. Really <laughs> you know, he was in the. He, was he in the, really was. Like, both of them, bro, you could even look like they've been through some shit. You're like, damn, they've been really waiting for right. Yeah. <laughs> he really needed this check, man. Like yeah. Tyre- Ty- Ty- Tyrese feels like he's not a he's not a side character. He, he has side character tendencies, but he's, they put a lot of he's camera goddamn, focus on him. He's goddamn Jar Jar Binks in this shit, man. But they give a lot of camera time. God, a lot of camera time. There's, there's I, an A I team was and a B really team. really happy when I thought Tyrese died. died. <laughs> I, 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 I felt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they, bro, they didn't even try and sell it. Like it yeah. was like it was like, oh, sad. Is it Q? Sad faces. Yeah. Q realization. He's fine. Keep it moving. Yeah. Right. It was like a, it was a no sell. Like Chewbacca dying. It was yeah. like, oh no, Chewbacca exploded. Chewbacca, no. no, and then. Literally eight seconds, seconds later, later. <laughs> he's like, he's <laughs> yeah. right. Same thing. Um, yeah, Tyrese is is terrible. Yeah. Okay, so what we're talking about, and you said everything was in that trailer, Marco. No, no, no. If you're a Fast and the Furious fan, you get a treat in this one. Flashback, flashback to good old 1989. Right. Everything that story that uh, Dom tells in the first Fast and the Furious, you get to see it played out. Oh, completely. so that was a also, story. Also, yeah. like, So his dad dying was canon yeah. already. Yeah, we knew his dad that. dying was canon. Him beating so, the guy with the wrench. That's all That's canon. how he went to jail. That's how he went okay. to prison, yeah. So he yeah. Could, he comes out in the cartoon. Who? So the the dude that he beats up, like, because that is that is apparently a story that's so fucking ingrained, it's a crime he mentions in the first movie. Yeah. I beat the dude so bad that he... He couldn't race again. He couldn't race again, and now he takes the bus everywhere. So he's a janitor in the Netflix kids show that's Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know this? Oh, because wow. I got quizzed on um, all the Fast and the Furious movies. You had to... I, me and uh, the other people, one of us, had to guess what happened in the other movies. And all they told us was the title. So that's how I learned that between three and now... Two characters have died, and then Vin tries to avenge them, and then they're not dead. So Vin Diesel has wasted most of his life. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that is true. (laughs) Well, in regards to the flashbacks, yes, I, I feel like I'm betraying myself when I say this because you know me, Mm -hmm. I like practical effects. I like when they're done well. I like, um, or rather, and I don't like. When they like Peter Cushing in Rogue One, people, or they just digitally generate yeah. them, resurrect put them in there, them again. resurrect them. This movie uses other actors for young Dom and young Vin, young everyone, uh, young, actually. Young, so young, young Mia, the young Letty, except Michael Rooker. <laughs> well, he's already old. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. right, just give me a. You just, just max me, out at fifty. It's yeah, like give me, a, give me a brown beard. Off, you're good. Yeah, give me a brown beard. I'm good, brother. Yeah. And so, I don't know how I feel about it. Because I just didn't convince... Because Vin Diesel's such a unique-looking dude. The young Vin Diesel character, yeah. or Dom, didn't look like him. The young... He looked taller than Vin Diesel. Way nah, taller I was like, yeah. I was like, you... And no, then, it's funny because like him and his little brother... The guy who plays his little brother is actually a really good actor. I was surprised was in this. Right, he and he was, looks good as yeah, a he's young a good John actor, Cena. That kid. Also. Yeah, yeah, he does. And yeah. that you can see that. But the height difference... Because when <laughs> Dom is looking down at his little... It's like this much of a difference. Meanwhile, when they get older... It's like this. Like, right, so, right. Someone hit a growth spurt at some point. What's going on? I try on? to find a picture of young jo- Dom and young John Cena to just try to show <laughs> that thing. <laughs> right. And, and the but, difference. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, he doesn't look like Vin Diesel at all. Hey, well, what He's, can you do, man? Right. Like, yeah, no, but then like, I thought, would I want like fucking Tony Stark de aging shit? No. Do I want that? No, you don't. They got the well, money actually, for I it. Well, actually, the Tony Stark one wasn't bad. I right. No, 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 I'm talking about, like, uh, what the, the, who's the other one? No, Marvel Disney can do that shit with ease. Yeah, who's the other one in, um, it was a younger version of Hank Pym? Oh, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. That one wasn't terrible. It was kind of bad, Fyfers but not terrible. was good, yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer's was amazing. Right. I don't know if I would have wanted no, you know that better. No, who was the best? Lawrence Fishburne. 
Oh, yeah. That yeah. shit was good. Yeah. I, thought I was, was watching Boys in the Hood again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I couldn't tell you if I. I mean, I don't. Because well, how do you DH Vin Diesel? He, just, he has yeah. hair when you go in the past. Like, the real Vin Diesel has hair. So. And it, it, he looks weird. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, there you go. There's, a, there's the actor right there. Like to, uh, do, they don't look alike. No, they don't look it, alike. It didn't, didn't sell it to me, and it just was just it was weird watching this guy, who looks. I mean, Vin Diesel's all sorts of ethnicities. This guy's also some sort of ethnicities. Yeah, but it didn't. They line literally up. they they just have to find the own like because there's few people who are like, what the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. they have to find another one who looked relatively handsome enough to be. An he actor. looks like Benicio del Toro. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look anything like him. But I, that was distracting, and I wasn't sure if was I would have wanted a digitally de aging. It was just—I mean, at a certain point, you just give it up. Same, yeah. yeah. It's me too. The height thing was more distracting because I mean, he had the the dom vibe. Like that's all he needed. Right. But they, this movie is like so dependent on a face off. Like they face off with their boys, they face off again with their adults. So that height difference is super fucking annoying. It to is. Me. It really, <laughs> right. really is. Right. And so Mister Nobody is like, hey, you know, we got another mission for you. And they're like, all right, somebody has this half a football that's going to blow up the entire world. We don't know what it's going to do, but it, the bad guys want it. Yeah. It's got two halves and a key. And a key. Yeah. All right. And so they give big hugs. Everyone's meeting together. And they're like, we're done with this life. I don't want no part of it. They have a sweet moment. Michelle Rodriguez gives the necklace to the little boy. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm going alone. We're not like this. This is not us. He takes off. Right. And then they all meet up together. They all go to the jungles of like Brazil, Pakistani. They, they go to a random made up country. It's some obscure ass yeah. country. They made right. up a country and they gave everyone a black mask so it can't be embraced. Right. So they go to Latveria and they go, okay, we got to go after this thing. We're on international borders, right yeah. by the border. We got to go do this. And at some point, Vin Diesel finds out that there's a guy there who he's very familiar with. He's like, huh. I know that necklace. All Toretto's have the same necklace. <laughs> we go to the same K Jewelers <laughs> and we get the same necklace, all of us. Okay. So they go, they have a big shit, like the big explosive. They drive off the cliff and everything. That's where the chain one, right? That's yeah. like the first one. Yes. That's, that's this chase right here. Right. Right. And I got to tell you something, guys. For a Fast and Furious movie and everyone talking about the action being all crazy and cool, that shit, that first one was boring as fuck. Was, was that just me? No, no, it was boring. No, it was. Okay. Compared to the shit we've seen in other movies, yes, it was very boring. Where it goes on this one. Uh, yeah, this one's the most boring. Right. Yeah, Because for the yeah for a they movie... They should have put more of that in the trailer. Right. If, if you're touting, you know, Fast, Furious, mm-hmm. you know, fa- the first movies were, you know, drag racing, fast cars, rev of the engine. What's well, a drag like race that. in every movie, mind you? Oh, when, yeah. And, and I was very... I was about to get pissed. I was about to walk out the goddamn theater. Because usually they open the movies with those drag races. I'm uh-huh. like, it's not a Fast and the Furious movie if I don't get my goddamn drag race. Right. And they give you a, 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 a more emotional, personal one yeah. in this one. And actually, that that's probably my favorite scene in the movie. Right. I'm, I'm like, okay, I like the way they did that. Right. Yeah. But also in that same movie with all that heart, yeah. has a flying magnet car. A lot of magnets in here. A lot of ma- Oh, don't worry. We'll get some <laughs> magnets, okay? So they lose the football. John mm-hmm. Cena takes it. And he's like, all right, guys. It's Dom's brother. What the fuck? They find an underground tunnel home base and they set up shop. Right. All right, guys, we got to go find Han because Han has something to do with this, even though he's dead. No, they don't know Han is alive. They well, they know. said Han he had something to do with this. Yeah, he left the clue so that we need to go check it out. So right. It is. He, yeah. he, it's a postcard from Mexico. Right. But also Japan. Sent from Japan. It's something he says in the Tokyo Drift. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so... You want the team team A go or team B go there team A da, uh, they all split up yeah they all split up and then he goes he does the compound right Vin Diesel's like I'm gonna go find my brother and fuck him up yeah no so, uh, he goes to London goes to London goes to London well, he right. runs into Helen Mirren Helen Mirren yeah. who is Shaw's mom yeah but right. she's just doing theft and is like has some intel yeah. she's charming and they look she like begged to be in this movie. She loves doing these fucking movies. I mean, here's the thing, though. There was a <laughs> moment where she was in the movie with Dom, and Dom was over her shoulder, and she was looking up at him. There was some real sexual tension. Oh, it totally on. was. It was really <laughs> weird. Like, it thank totally you. Was. I, no, actually, to be fair, Marco, I, I know the look might have assumed that I was like, these guys are crazy, but I was actually with them. I was like, there was a lot of sexual tension in that. Yeah, door. let me see yeah. if I can find her because yeah, they're driving, and so there she is. She's in the trailer. Yeah, she's in the trailer. But like, she he's he, like, man, emeralds and pearls never look so good, and she's like, hello, darling. I don't know. Yeah. She didn't talk like that. But she's like, do you want to come in? <laughs> do you want to come in and change my gears? And he's like, uh, I don't do crime no more. She's like, get in. And then he does. He's just like, fuck it. Yeah. 
The, a lot. Helen Mirren, good God. I don't know how old she is. She looks, still, she still got amazing. it. Yeah. She still got <laughs> it. Whatever amazing. it is. And then, kind of in the in between space where they're back in the in the clubhouse, I realized that British girl, Ludacris, and Tyrese. It was a goddamn comedy show every time they went in. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, but what it wasn't do. that funny ever. It wasn't that funny ever. It rarely is. Ludacris. Kind of funny. No, his, I actually, I, he was I like, dry as fuck. I like Ludacris, but he's, he was he's the straight man that Tyrese is supposed to be. He had nothing because yeah. Tyrese, Tyrese isn't funny. Yeah, he's is not awful. Yeah. And here's one thing I want my biggest complaint about this movie because I saw what they were trying to do. They're trying to manipulate us and they're trying to make us not care about the rules of this movie. What do you mean? So Tyrese, he mentions it in the trailer. Man, have you ever thought about how many adventures we've been on? How many times we just don't get shot? How many times we should have died and we just don't? Don't have we, a scratch. Without a scratch. He says that and Ludacris is like, or maybe it's all true. What if we're ordained or guided or maybe you're a dumbass? Ha, ha, ha. That was the joke. It's not even a good middle school joke. No, I really thought that was plot wise them admitting they're meta human because so many meta human <laughs> yeah, me thi- yeah there's so many meta human things that happen in this movie as we go further that right but the, the entire third act well here's the <laughs> no, we're not some of the most physical feats i've ever seen but so. there was one ex- it, particularly where he's in the pit with all the the contra uh, the people we, guys we're like mm. one scene away so you might as well look. oh yeah but he's shooting everybody like with a handgun. I don't even know. Oh even, yeah. And 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 people are falling and getting shot from behind it looked like. Yeah. Was yeah. that the case? It looked yeah. that way. Right. And I thought it was like, oh, it was um He's got Dom's that X-Men power where there's a chance the bullet will miss. Or he's domino he's or domino, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but no, um so I thought it was like Dom's brother like saving their asses, like being like, I need them alive for That's some reason. That's what I thought too. Or well, somebody saving them, yeah. But no, it was just, it was they were falling like flies or something. Like yeah. plot armor, literal plot armor. Yeah. And they try to set it up to where, yeah, they're, they're saying, yeah, they're metahumans and they're ordained or they're uh, they're aware that they've never got a scratch. So they're not in any danger. Right. So you should be able to go with Some it. Self-awareness. Or yeah. self-awareness and, and have fun with it. What are you talking about? They just have faith, baby. They say oh, that. Faith and they family. Say, That's all it say. takes. Faith and family. <laughs> it's the two Fs outside of Fast and Furious. Yeah. Faith right? and family, buddy. Come on. That's four, it's too many Fs. That's four Fs. But <laughs> Fast and Furious, faith and family, baby. <laughs> but for me, it was like, okay, you're aware of it. So what you should have done was subverted it and had one of these motherfuckers die. What or get nice. at least get hurt. They already had someone die. No, one but like get hurt or something. Some yeah. No, because even the ones that die come back. So right. Like, no, but well, his wife is still dead. But there's no payoff. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, hey, there's still a tenth movie, and so apparently they threw her body in the ocean. So Marco was like, "All right, there's a chance she comes back." <laughs> <laughs> and so they had this perfect thing to set up that oh, we're gonna go in thinking they're invincible, mm-hmm. so that when someone does get injured or just injured or gravely injured, even if they survive, it's a little bit impactful. But spoiler alert, nothing fucking happens to them. Everyone gets off completely scot free. Literally without a scratch. No one hurt. No one hurt. No one even no one nope. even has a twisted rolled hey, ankle. No, so, so, time out. Han, Han had some blunt on him. Oh, yeah, that wasn't his. <laughs> but that might yeah, that was like I don't oh, know he, was, that was he was brutalizing yeah. lots of people. Dude, yeah. we didn't even talk about Cypher, who apparently is the main Bro, player. they have this shit in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> He's Loki. She's Loki. Bro, yeah. they said, yeah. do yeah. not let this trick out this cage. Don't talk to her. <laughs> 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 they put, like laser poles in the way that All she kinds went of shit. off. Bro, they, they were like, give her some peanuts and some duct tape and she'll hack into something. We don't know what to right. do with her. They gave her a typewriter. Right. They gave her <laughs> the most primitive computer you could give someone. All analog. <laughs> All analog. <laughs> Way that, and the way that they turn, uh, this happens later. The way that she gets, I don't even know how that happened. She cipher. She can do I don't whatever. know why. <laughs> There's no reason. She's the big bad, man. Like She comes out, she's like, damn, I should have got. See, that's how much bullshit this movie is. She's like, she's damn, like, I should have got you over your brother. But you know everything. You should have known this nigga was around. You should have known he had a brother that was a spy. Right. That was Rogue. That hated him. That <laughs> hated him. Right. Yeah. And then John Cena is the longest. He just keeps ziplining across because that's the, the most convenient way. The city of London. And then somehow Dom is able to track him on foot. On foot. All uh, 250 bro. pounds of Vin Diesel elderly. Uh, so so, so <laughs> let, me, let me bring this. So, okay. Oh, so oh, And by the way, just as an underlying portion of this, of how a lot of this happens, people are getting flung and being caught by cars a lot a in lot. this movie. 
a lot. Like people are falling. It's like, oh, I use my hood to catch Hold you. On, I got You're you. Fine. Yeah. It's well, like a catcher's you make, bit. Oh, that you that make, they've been doing that since I, five. I, I, I legit like they make fronts and hoods of cars look like yeah, look like, like they're pillows, bro. Mattresses. Look like look like I, I was sitting there. I was like, damn, I'm trying to do this with my car. Hey, yo, Tommy. Hey, yo, what y'all trying, bro? <laughs> literally would do better if the car doesn't catch them and they just roll on the ground. That's a what I'm bit. saying. <laughs> Velocity into velocity. That's not yeah. gonna be okay. Right. Physics says that equals nothing good. Right. And, so, the, and yeah. it's not like they're trying to like catch him or guide him, like where it's like, oh, they, they were yeah, like a soft land and make you hit. Yeah. No, they're just like, you know, no. fucking you know, J turn. Ah, <laughs> just clutch on I mean, to. Yeah. Right. It's Sh- crazy. Shoot. I mean, fucking not. <sighs> So the the zip line part where Vin Diesel catches, I have a tackles lot of problems into a window <laughs> in the okay, midair. So, problem number one. Vin Diesel couldn't catch up to the motherfucker like driving under him, right? Right. Like, they were matching pace. Yes. So uh-huh. the fact that he had time to get out get of out his, of his car, car, make it to a roof, roof, run, run and still catch this dude. Yeah. Quick no question, sense. TJ. Vin Diesel's on a roof. John Cena has a fucking uh, zip line gun, yeah. right? How the fuck is Vin Diesel getting from building to fucking building? Bro, hops. What are you talking about? Come on. <laughs> Spider this parkour. Is, <laughs> this is the only problem I have overall with this movie, and it all goes back to Tokyo Drift. So, Vin Diesel refused to do any of these movies unless they gave him creative control. Okay. And like all wrestlers, he uses his creative control to put himself over. So, Tokyo Drift ends with him racing Lucas. Canonically, he, Lucas loses that race for no fucking reason, and that's not that bad. But. To believe that Vin Diesel can beat up John Cena and The Rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to be honest, though. And Jason State. TJ sees it over my shoulder. When I was watching them fight, like the clips yeah. I just showed where they're just brawling, thro- they're full on throwing, full body weight, all 250 pounds of muscle, these guys, yeah. both of them. Through tables, yeah. bro. Through they are just flipping each other through wall. walls. And I said, with the back of his the head, back of his head. And, yeah. then, and then he threw a pool table that flips, and he also hits his head on the wall again. Yeah, concussions don't exist. Look at yeah. look at this. Still conscious. That's I think going, they're more like two eighty five. But huh? I think they're more like two eighty five. Yeah, yeah, muscle <laughs> and, and elderly. But no, Jeez. mostly not John Cena. But. I had this stupid thought in my head because I was like, this is like a goddamn Godzilla fight, right? Yeah, it's, it's a good it, comparison. It's, it's a good comparison, right? But my dumbass, because I'm an idiot, thought of the stupid movie from Street Fighter when Zangief and E. Honda are fighting. Oh my God, of course you it, did. It was, no, it was just like this. It was just two guys <laughs> fighting, destroying <laughs> the, the fucking sitting, just, thro- just dumb. It's oh, just yeah, dumb because yeah. there's just two big beefy dudes. Yeah. Throwing each other around, right? No grace, no combat skills. Like oh, that no. other girl had a samurai sword. You know, everyone no one else had a samurai. Sword. No one what was that woman? She had, she, had? she had a baton. A baton. Oh, yeah. oh look, sharp. look. I, 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 I'm not even blaming you for thinking that was a sword. Right. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. Why didn't she have a sword? That's great. Cool. That's a better question. She's in Japan. I think, slice some. I think the up. blood would have made it. Or it's, this is probably only PG-13. Just Wolverine it. it. Yeah, yeah. Don't show no blood. You can slice people with no blood. It's fine. That's when Vin Diesel. He's like, oh. Let me rip off and show my Superman logo and save the day. Oh, my God. Is oh, all eyes right? on me again. Yep. Yep. All right, guys. All right, guys. You guys need to go. I'll fight off the I'll bad guys. I'll hold them off. I'll, I'll hold them off. This entire army. Right. Michelle Rodriguez, go. And then she just doesn't. But she's just watching through the glass. <laughs> no, no. I saw all the black people are out. <laughs> oh, they left. <laughs> they Nobody. Luda was like, Luda. And then Tyrese is just like, ah, ah. Like in that fucking cave. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, that's exactly. all he does. Yeah. But no. I laughed out loud when he did this He's move absurd. right here, where he goes close the door and then he double because <laughs> he jumps like a yeah. like. Ah. <laughs> you remember the scene in Thor Ragnarok where the Hulk jumps up? Oh yeah, with the uh, fist or yeah. whatever. Surter, Sur- 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 is that the bad guy's name? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that double fist like you could stop him. There's nothing dynamic wide about open. this move. Just punch him and just... Straight up I mean, wide open. <laughs> punch him in the chest. I feel like they could have shot him in the back like three seconds ago. Right. And so he does that. That's not a very good sell on anybody's part. And then there's like 13 guys. No, and there was not 13. There was like 30. Bro, he, no, he, no, the first round of people first was 13. Round, 13. Second <laughs> round, like one. And then like, yeah, yeah bro, that shit, was, that shit was zombies, bro. <laughs> <laughs> round two. The, the feats that he has or defeating that many people. Literally, the pulling down he those metal oh, chains. Oh, they were jumping him. He loves the in. chains. They were, no, oh, yeah. They were jumping him in. Everyone and he had the top. wherewithal to see the chains. No scratches, mind you. Bro, if y'all. No, I'm just saying. 
30 yeah, tactical <laughs> no, I'm telling you, people. Okay. He's on the ground like this. Yeah. And then he's able to get, get up. up. Like there wasn't 30 people stop <laughs> 60 feet. 60 different feet yeah. stopping him in. ass on that thing. I'm, right. I mean, Marco, I, I think you might Combat have the same boots. feelings yeah. I had where I was like, dog, I've, I've, I've lifted with chains. Yeah. Right. You don't just casually. Two of like, them. Let, let alone pull two. concrete down. What is concrete. it? The God of War? Breaking the shit. Ugh. And the worst part for me of all this bullshit. Not, it's not even. It's not even the rocks hitting the water. It's not even him falling in. Like I have all From, problems with that. It's the problem that of, like, immediately. No, no. First of all, this sends this into a flashback. Not the problem. But <laughs> yeah, look at they this. don't explain where the fuck. Well, what the fuck happens after this? Because they're right back in the same goddamn lair before. Like, they literally... It's, it's as if nothing happened. They're using the same You're right. lair. Yeah, they don't go anywhere they else. They go just anywhere. go back to where they, they just were. go back. <laughs> they just go, oh, no, that's scary. All Which right, actually... Well, we lost them. In, in <laughs> they hindsight, would never expect us to speak. <laughs> in, in hindsight, yeah, I was like... Well, actually, no one would think that, like, damn, they went back to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb motherfuckers. Well, it, literally, it literally goes from flashback oh. to dumb... <gasps> Waking and then, up with and, then, and then you'll see like the radar thing in the back, them just being normal, hun, eating shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, I'm, 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 depending on your way that you define a seven or a five, uh, look, it's neutral. It's literally the, the most movie movie you could watch. It is yeah. the definition of Welcome something. Welcome back to the theater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's movie the film. <laughs> it's yeah. what I like. Despite all my criticisms, I do think it's the type of film that's just needed for people to kind of go back to making in the theater just a mm. regular thing. Right. Um, it's the type of movie that you know. Even when I was watching it with my girlfriend, who's never seen one, and she, uh, she just uh, and side note, her review was it was a movie, and that's exactly how <laughs> oh, I wow. feel. Yep. That's it, never a good thing. It was a movie. <laughs> it wasn't well, you just, bad. Well, you just stating basic fact. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't. Right? It wasn't bad. Like in terms of like, I wasn't feeling as though like I was being cheated from like a money perspective. Like nothing I could look at. Like I said, from visuals to some beats, like to the there's money there. Right. Right. Everything else, half a lot of the characters, the plots, all that kind of stuff, very lackluster. Uh, but honestly, eh, fuck it, it's a five. You know what you're getting yourself into. Right. If you like Fast and Furious, that's the hard part, actually. If, I think if you like Fast and Furious, I don't even know if you like this one. There's no fun. It's not fun. I've seen them all, and I typically like them all, so I'll let you know. All right, <laughs> Marco. but Marcos, what do you think? So, I it's weird because usually when I say this sentence, it's like this movie was better because it's, it's small doses. I have not seen a Fast and the Furious movie this decade or in the last 10 years. And so, like this, it's fun. It's a fun 80s action movie. No matter what happens, Vin Diesel's going to stand at the uh, stand tall and be like, all right, it's fun. I can fight the rock. It's great. And then, so, if it's in small doses, it's fine. It's a seven once. And if you never see it again, it's a, th- and if you do see it again, it probably goes all the way down to a three. Like... <laughs> It's right. just if you see it once in the theater. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like it's a good for that one time hit, but it's just a one time hit. It's it's literally the type of movie like that like you'd look you'd look and be playing in a bar, you'd be like, yeah. Oh, yes. I remember that. Keep drinking. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes, you hit the nail on the fucking head. I'm giving it a seven also. Because like actually yeah, I I'll just give it a seven point five. Cause it was a little things as a fan of Fast and the Fierce, like Brian pulling up at the end, like I like little right. shit like that. Oh, oh, and yeah. Qu- quick point, yeah. I mean, I know some people were like, I, I, one of my homies was like, oh man, why did they bring him back? But I'm like, hey, it's nice, just nice, cute, cute. In this world, yeah. your kids there. are like, safe. Like your that. kids yeah. are safe. They're with the Brian. Yeah, they're with Brian. I, I, you know what? I like I, they didn't even give his head an outline. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're not cutting any of the Walkers boys a check this time. <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> the, the only thing, I, the only problem I had with that was like they were like they literally were like wait. There's someone, someone missing. missing. Like, and he looks at the camera. It's yeah, it a blue chair. It could be. It's a blue chair. It, like this shit. I was like, duh. Come all right, come on. on. Just, just. I, I did <laughs> think because I'm I'm a novice at this. I thought it was John Cena was gonna drive up for a little bit. No, no, no. no. That's Brian. I, I even knew it was Paul Walker. <laughs> That's Brian. Because all I heard all I heard in the background just faintly was that goddamn Charlie Puth song. The doo, 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 doo. I was like, if they would have brought that back as an interlude, I would have been like, okay, that's kind of cool. It's cool. because yeah. you, don't so know the, you don't know the Fast 7 colors. Right. Um, you don't, you got, yeah. They all have colors. See, they all have colors. It's like, like we do. Rangers. We all have colors. But like, I mean, see, the thing with Fast and the Furious with the whole franchise, it has a past no other franchise has. 
Twitter, it can do damn near whatever the fuck it wants to do. And people will have a default of like a five or six. Right. No matter what stupid shit, terrible dialogue, terrible everything, as long as it's all those fuckers together doing whatever, it's just an automatic grandfathered in pass of at the very least a six. Right. And so I'm giving it a 7.5. Fuck yeah, it. I probably will not watch it again. Yeah, I, I don't think I've watched many of them again. Tokyo Drift is the only one which I like, Marco. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going off what everybody says consensus was. No, so the thing with Tokyo Drift... It uh, has its own... It, it does its own thing. Yeah, yeah it has it, its own fan base, too. Very aggressive. But yeah. yeah. I think... The, so I like Tokyo Drift so much that it actually hurts me that Lucas is just a big-headed idiot and everything else. It's also Christopher Nolan's favorite Fast and Furious. He actually loves mm. that movie. Well, who gives a fuck about him? He's an artur. Batman? Yeah. Batman well, he doesn't, doesn't care like about Batman. Him. Oh. He doesn't like anything. Go ahead. <laughs> Bye. Fast and Furious is boring and so is Batman. <laughs> I'm ending on that. <laughs> and he doesn't eat pussy either. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Hey, don't leave yet. We got to do our outro where we can tell people where you can find us. Oh. Like me, Sammy Gonzalez, on the Mexicans on all forms of social media. They can also find the thing that we argued about really harshly and privately. You can follow us on Instagram at the Mexicans <laughs> official. Go follow it. There's lots of good things coming. Good up. Pixel perfect, if you will. And you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on TikTok. There's going to be TikToks of this I got to figure out. Right. He's very mad at me for not posting TikToks. He will not be mad at me because we've got lots of TikToks coming. So if you missed a lot of the shows or if you're new watching here, some of the raid did stick around. I do appreciate you guys being here. Please follow so we don't miss the next episode, which is probably going to be tomorrow playing some games because I'm gonna. But Tommy, in the yes. meantime, where can they find they you? They find me at Tommy McGrew underscore art on and Instagram. And Marcos, where they find you? Dale Marcos 62 into anything. And TJ, TJ Manu. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, All right. <laughs> this family's got to go. So that's what we're going to do. We're about to have a cookout. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> we, we should have a picture. Yeah. Of a, we should have a picture of a cookout, but like.